I'm in the pop-up lounge tonight, chilling, enjoying myself real quick. I have a, a, a an interesting one. And while I was at Cigars Daily in Phoenix, I actually stopped by there. And there's a guy there named Terrence. He works there. He's in a lot of their videos. He said, you got to get this stick. It's a really good stick. This is by Karen Berger, K-Fire Stick. I can't wait to get into it. Uh, she is a unique individual. If you've seen her videos, she's, she's a hoot. Um, I cannot wait to get into her stick and check this thing out. Summer Smoke Series, we're going to keep getting bangers out and we're going to keep going and going and going. I cannot wait to get in this one. Terrence, you're crazy for this one. Cigar Brother, Karen Burger, K Fire, only on Cigar Brother. Let's go. I just lit and smoked this bad boy. This is the K Fire by Karen Berger. Uh, if you probably see her in the PCA video, she's, she seems like a hoot. And so I'm gonna light and smoke this. Terrence from Cigars Daily recommended it for me. So let's go. This is gonna start off with you got a really unique uh, Mexican San Andreas wrapper on this bad boy. That's really good. Followed by the binder. Turn around a little quick here. The binder is an Ecuadorian Habano binder. And then the filler is gonna be from Nicaragua. And uh, let's get into this thing. And I'm gonna give you my honest opinion on this thing. Let's go. Sweet cedar on that, off the bat. Really sweet cedar on this thing. It's interesting. Retro Hell's good. Getting that cedar. A little bit of oak, kind of a dried oak, if you will, a dry woodiness to it. Very smooth. Yeah, a lot of cedar to start off with on this bad boy, which is interesting. And uh, when I was at Cigars Daily, I said, you know, I, I walked in there. I was like, because I'm, I'm in Phoenix. I'm from Phoenix. And I drove all the way out to Northern. They're off like 7th Street and like the 101. If you're from Phoenix and you know that so I live in the East Valley growing up there, kind of by Tempe, Arizona State area. And uh, it was a really far drive. <laughs> When I went there, but I was like, let me go by and grab some sticks. Let me see cigars daily. I didn't see Tim. I didn't ask for him anyways. I'm not trying to fangirl or anything like that crazy. I don't. Yeah, but I he he said, you need to smoke this. So uh, Terrence is cool. But so far, sweet cedar, dried woody oak. Yeah, that's what I'm getting so far. I mean, it's not a bad stick. Hmm. Very fermented. Like, this thing is like, holy cow. Hmm. You can taste the ferment. Like, I, I don't know if it's a the age on it or ferment or how fermented it is. But this bad boy, <laughs> it's a little lethal, man. It's a little lethal. Um, I don't know if that's good or bad. <laughs> I don't know if that's good or bad, to be honest with you. It's a little lethal, a little strong. That cedar is sweet, though. It's like a sweet cedar. Now, if you took cedar and like put it in water and it's like sucked on it, I get that sweet cedar. The draw is great. Yeah, fermentus is it's fermented to the tea. Holy cow. <laughs> mm. Okay. All right, Miss Karen. Not so bad so far. 
I hope that what I'm hoping with the stick, it doesn't say cedar all the way through. All right, Karen. All right, I got, I'm gonna give you a shot. I gave you a shot. I'm in the second third now, guys, and this stick is. Uh, Let me go with the pros real quick. Miss Karen, Miss Karen, Miss Karen, we're in Texas. I got to call you Miss Karen if you're watching. Um, the pros is the draw is great. <laughs> the draw is great. I mean, it's going to fill the air with a lot of smoke. That's wonderful. Cons, that's the only pro I got. Oh, the cons on this bad boy is that it is extremely fermented. It almost tastes like um, a cross between like lighter fluid and like strong cedar. And that cedar is just still in it. I'm not getting pepper. I'm not getting any other flavors. I don't get cocoa. I don't get earthiness. I get one dominant flavor in the second half that started in the first half was um, just strong, strong, strong cedar. You with Terrence, if you're out there, love you, brother, but from Cigars Daily, but I'm taking issue with this stick. Um, and Miss Karen, you too. So here it is right now. I was looking for an enjoyable smoke this thing has not changed flavors it's remained seared throughout and that is it's humdrum i'm getting a little bit rustic at the end but at the end i'm, I'm almost done and it's just not yielding flavors i'm not getting complexity of flavors i'm not taking a ride to flavor town I don't want a stick that is cedar through and through from start to finish. That is not how you should smoke a cigar. If I was a novice, I wouldn't know any better. I just smoked this thing and think it's great. But I know a little bit better. I'm not saying I'm a pro, but I do know a little something about something. And that when I smoke a cigar, I want to be taken for a really ride through flavors and complexities and notes. And there is only one, and I mean only one flavor in this thing that is remaining and that is crazy to say but it is so k-fire you didn't really have it coming on this one